Hi, Lonnie. Could you tell us a little bit about what you do? Hey, Gordon, I'd love to. So I work for Western Title and Escrow, and the technical definition of an escrow is a transaction where one party engages in the transfer or lease of a real or personal property with another person who delivers a written instrument, money, or other items of value to a neutral third party called an escrow agent. That's me. The escrow agent holds the money or items for disbursement upon the performance of a specified condition. The escrow agent impartially carries out the written instructions given by the principals, being our buyer and our seller. This includes receiving funds and documents necessary to comply with those instructions and complete the successful closing of the transaction. So in essence, the escrow portion of the company is basically a holding place for all the information and monies and documents for both the buyer and the seller and the lender and everybody who's actually part of the, of the transaction. Is that a fair thing to say? That is correct. Okay. So uh, where does the word title out of title and escrow come in? So the title end of things, um, our title department does a detailed exam of all the available public records on a property to verify the seller's right to sell the property and uh, uncover any potential liens or challenges we might have um, in getting transferring clear title to the buyer. Title is going to reveal things uh, such as unpaid taxes, unsatisfied mortgages, judgments against the seller and or buyer, and uh, restrictions limiting the use of the land. Okay, so is that where, uh, in my closing documents, is that where the word A-L-T-A comes from? Is that that involved here? Does it come into play here at this point? That's the American Land Title Association, what all title companies are governed by, yes. Okay, Lonnie, so I see other terms on there too, uh, and one of them is RESPA. What in the world is RESPA? Can you tell me a little bit about that? RESPA stands for Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act. The main objective was to protect homeowners by assisting them in becoming better educated while shopping for real estate services. It helps them eliminate kickbacks and referral fees, which add extra costs to their closing. Uh, RESPA also requires lenders and others involved in mortgage lending to provide borrowers with pertinent and timely disclosures regarding the nature and costs of a real estate settlement closing. Okay, so it sounds like basically another governing source. Is that Would that be a fair assessment? That's correct. Okay, so now I've always wondered this question. How does Western Title get paid for their services? It's based on sales price and loan amount, and it's all regulated by the Title Insurance Division. Got it. Okay, so, I mean, we're talking about closing costs, Lonnie. So what would be something else that we might see in the closing costs? If you're a seller you're gonna, and you have a loan or two on the property, you're going to see a reconveyance fee. And that fee right now is $165, and that's to ensure that the loans that we're paying off on behalf of the seller are, in fact, released from the property. Um, we have a, a department that tracks the receiving of the original promissory note, trust deed, and request for reconveyance. And then we take those documents and actually prepare the deed of reconveyance and record it in the county records so that it shows the seller has in fact paid it off and we ensure that the buyer's got clear title. What happens if I got a guy who's uh, out of the area? Let's say for right right now you and I are dealing with a transaction where we've got somebody uh, in uh, Nebraska. And they, you know, they, of course, they're not going to be able to just come out here and sign documents and all the things that we need for them to do in order to get this closed. Um, is there a way that you could manage this so that they can actually close where they're at? Absolutely. We have a nationwide mobile notary service that we use. It's called BankServe. And um, they will actually, we upload all of the documents to their secure portal. They print all of the documents off and they will take the documents to the buyer or seller's home, place of business, or they can meet them at a restaurant, anywhere that's convenient. And they work 
um, all hours. So it doesn't have to be the standard eight to five. They can work on the weekends. It's, they're very accommodating for our buyers and our sellers. And that fee for a seller is typically 125 And for a buyer, you're looking at about 150 to $200. It dep- you know, if they're in a remote area, some of our coastal customers, the fee is a little higher for them. Yeah, well, it's still way better than uh, the plane ticket and two days wages, huh? It is. And if you're dealing with a cash transaction on a buyer's side um, and there's no need for a notary of any kind, they're just taking title as individuals, not in their trust, uh, we can actually just docu-sign a buyer. And docu-sign is a way of signing electronically, correct? That's correct. Recently, uh, we set up, uh, we meaning uh, my company and your company, set up a for sale by owner in one of our closings with you. Can you explain to us a little bit about how that works? I know it's uh, kind of a unique deal. Uh, it's great how it worked out. Uh, this, by the way, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is where the buyer has uh, sold the property and he is willing to take care of the paper. He's willing to make a loan for the buyer on his own right. Um, and But we can do that through an escrow company. Lonnie, you, would you tell us a little bit about that, please? There are several collection escrow companies out there that we utilize. We like to keep it local if we can here in Roseburg so that if there's ever a problem, our clients can actually go in and see somebody face-to-face. So our role in a um, seller carry transaction where the seller is acting as lender um, is to prepare the promissory note, trust deed, uh, request for reconveyance, and then all of the collection escrow documents. And we take care of setting that up so that once escrow is closed, all of those um, servicing documents get sent over to the collection escrow company, whether it be a maritidal, uh, Pacific Trust Deed, Evergreen, you know, there's several out there that can help. I mean, basically, I've always heard it said that that's probably one of the cheapest ways of going about getting your accounting done is get it done through one of the escrow services. Is that correct? If you, yeah, if you were a seller and a buyer, I, I think it's smart to have a neutral third party servicing that account because they take care of, it's a one-time setup fee and you have a monthly fee for the disbursement of funds. I think that's, I think it's money well spent uh, because you have a a neutral party that's going to be responsible for the receiving and dispersing. They can hold on to the security documents and they will also provide you with tax 1099 information at the end of the year. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, that's one of the best things I've heard of. Uh, So folks, I know that Uh, You know, like Lonnie said, you don't really want to go out and try to do this thing. This is a big old elephant. And uh, you don't really want to go out and try to, uh, you know, be an agent yourself. But there are situations where this is sometimes the only way it can be done. Say the buyer doesn't have uh, uh, terms that are acceptable to a nationwide lender, but they might be acceptable to a personal seller. Maybe the seller is willing to take that risk. Uh, if that does happen, then you go see Lonnie and she can actually set it up through uh, some escrow uh, service who that they can actually take care of the accounting portion of that. Uh, is that a fair summation, Lonnie? Yes, it is. All right. Lonnie, I want to let you know I really appreciate you taking a couple of minutes for us today. If there's a nebulous part of this whole transaction and real estate thing, it's always been uh title and escrow for me i it, it was it took me a lot of years to get a firm understanding of what you folks do over there and we uh, really do appreciate it i mean i've seen uh uh well you and i both know that there's been a lot of times when title has saved a lot of agents bacon in this market and uh you know held up both ends of the deal as far as the buyer and the seller and protected their interests as well and i really really appreciate that lonnie well, we really appreciate you, Gordon, and all of our realtors out there. We like being part of the team. You know, it's a highly stressful time and it's serious work, but I think that we can have fun while we're doing it and we can do it right. 
Me too. I, w I want to make it memorable for the buyer and memorable for the seller, and I want them to have a good time. And, and should anything go wrong, you know, we've got the professionals right there who can handle that. Thank you very much for your time, Lonnie. Thank you, Gordon.